You know, one of the things I like about what the Lions have done in the offseason, they've got somebody for pretty much every position. Uh, Wilson at tight end from Seattle. they got a running back in, in LeGarrette Blount. Uh, they did it other positions that way. But they're obviously in this draft, I think, going to take a running back fairly early and possibly a tight end fairly early. And they have choices. You know, they can get to the best player available at either of those two positions uh, within the first uh, or second day of the draft. Either one of them or both, but probably at least one of them. And I like the running backs in this draft. People talk about them all the time. Chubb and Michelle and uh, Geis and uh, Richard Penny. A lot of great uh, uh, running backs uh, available or potentially great running backs. But tight end's a deep position as well. Hurst from South Carolina. You saw him play against Michigan in the bowl game. He's very good. Uh, you've got Andrews from Oklahoma, excellent receiver. A uh, small college player, you know, uh, uh, from the second level uh, up in the Dakotas, uh, Godert, uh, tight end, who uh, some people think may go in the first round. And also, uh, you look and you see uh, some pretty good players maybe a little later in the draft. Fumagalli comes to mind from Wisconsin. So I think the Lions will be able to fill those positions. And I think B Bob Quinn has done a good job in free agency of not like, hey, you know, do you have a contending team? You have to draft for need. Yeah, they do have to draft for need as a contending team in a certain sense, but they don't have to draft out of desperation. And I think there's a difference there. And I really feel like the Lions will be able to fill their needs at tight end and running back, and not only what they've done in free agency, but also what they'll do in the draft.